Tiffany, what are you doing? Eat. No, remember you can't eat. You just had surgery. Oh, okay. So? So that means that you can only have clear liquids right now. You can only have things that, like liquids that are clear. Like jello, water, popsicle. chicken broth, popsicles. So how about instead you have, here you go, you can have this. Okay. You can only have this because it's clear, okay? okay. Clear liquid diets are used before tests, procedures, or surgeries that require no food in stomach, intestines. Clear liquid diets should not be continued for more than a few days. Clear liquid diets help maintain hydration, provide electrolytes like sodium and potassium, gives entry at a time when the regular diet is not recommended. Food items allowed. They could be con colored as long as you're able to see through it, liquid at room temperature, water, fruit juices with no pulp, carbonated drinks, gelatin, tea and coffee without milk, broth, hard candy, ice pops without milk, fruit, seeds, or nuts. Food items prohibited. Anything that is not clear liquid, veggies, fruits and nectars, nuts, fats, butter, milk and milk products, fried food, beef, lamb, chicken, whole grain cereals, and alcoholic beverages. Nursing considerations. Do not give anything to a patient that is not clear liquid. Make sure patient is getting enough fluids and stays hydrated. Advantages. Hydrations. Provide some electrolytes like sodium and potassium. Disadvantages. Lack of fiber causes constipation, electrolyte imbalance, fatigue, dizziness, hair loss, and gallstones. Hey Melinda. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I stopped to get me a drink. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like you can't be drinking that. You're on a clear liquid diet, buddy. No, um, the doctor said it was okay to start drinking, um, slowly eating more solid food. So that's not like solid food? It's only tea and milk, so, so it's you, okay. You can have milk now? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I can have um, all clear liquids plus um, more liquids with more thicker consistency. So is that the, like are you milk. in a transition period to your solid foods? Yeah, the doctor um, doesn't want me to be on a liquid diet too much longer, so he wants me to slowly introduce um, back into my regular diet. And so how much longer are you going to be on this diet of yours? Just another couple of days. Okay. Description. A full liquid diet is made up only of fluids and foods that are normally liquid and foods that turn to liquid when they are at room temperature. This diet is easier to digest than solid food. It gives you the proteins, fluids, salts, and minerals that you need for energy. For most people on a fluid liquid diet, the goal is to get 1,350 to 1,500 calories and 45 grams of protein a day. Eating only a full liquid diet gives you enough energy, protein, and fat, but it does not give you enough fiber, and you may not get all the vitamins and minerals you need, so your doctor may recommend that you take certain vitamins and supplements. This diet is safe for people with diabetes, but only when they are followed closely by their doctor. Indication. You may need to be on a full liquid diet right before a medical test or procedure, or before a surgery, such as acute gastritis. It is important to follow the diet exactly to avoid problems with your procedure, or surgery, or your test results. You also may need to be on a full liquid diet for a while after you have had surgery on your stomach or intestine. You may also need to be on this diet if you are having trouble swallowing or chewing. The full liquid diet is a step between if clear your liquid diet and getting back onto your regular diet. Food items allowed. You can eat or drink only things that are liquid. These foods and drinks include water, fruit juices such as nectars and juices with pulp, butter, margarine, oil, 
cream, custard and pudding, plain ice cream, frozen yogurt and sherbet, fruit, ices and popsicles, sugar, honey and syrups, soup broth, sodas such as ginger ale and Sprite, Jello, Boost, Ensure, and other liquid supplements, tea or coffee with cream or milk and sugar or honey. Food items prohibited. Do not eat any kind of cheese, fruit, meat, and cereals that are not on your okay list. Also, do not eat raw or cooked vegetables and do not eat ice cream or other frozen desserts that have any solids in them or on top such as nuts, chocolates, chips, and pieces of cookies. Liquid foods do not include mashed foods such as mashed potatoes or avocado. Ask your doctor if you can include these foods in your full liquid diet. Cooked refined cereals such as cream of rice, oatmeal, grits, or farina, strained meats like the ones in baby food or potatoes, pureed in soup. Nursing considerations. Meal time is an important event in the patient's long day, and the patient's diet is an integral part of the total treatment plan. Certain nursing interventions may help the patient meet his or her nutritional needs. A. Consider the patient's food preferences as much as possible. Encourage the patient to fill out the selective menu so that preferred foods will be served. B. Provide the patient with assistance in selecting the appropriate foods from the menu. The use of the selective menus have improved food acceptance in most hospitals. C. Order and deliver the patient's tray promptly when it has been delayed while he was undergoing tests or procedures. D. Feed or assist the patient as necessary. Even patients who can feed themselves may need assistance in opening milk cartons, cutting meat, and spreading butter on bread. E. Discuss the advantages of following the diet. Explain to the patient why he will feel better and heal faster. For some diseases or disorders, the patient may be required to follow a special diet during the period of illness or the remainder of his life. A high-protein diet is essential to repair tissues in any condition which involves healing such as recovery from surgery or burns. A person with diabetes must adhere to a diet controlled in calories, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. A person with hypertension may require a diet restricted in sodium. F. Inform the dietitian of any special needs the patient may have. A patient who has lost his teeth and has difficulty chewing will need modifications in the consistency of the food he eats. G. Visit with the patient briefly when serving the food tray. Encourage family members to visit during meal time. If present, a family member may want to feed the patient who needs assistance. Be sure that this is relaxing and safe for the patient. I. When conditions allow for it, encourage the ambulatory patient to go to the dining hall for meals or open curtains in a double room so that patients may eat together. If the patient must eat alone, turn on the television or the radio. Nursing assessment. Nutritional and energy needs. Response to diet therapy. Observe and document nutritional intake. Assess for hunger, appetite, and nausea. Assess for return of bowel function before advancing the client's diet. Advantages and disadvantages. First, more nutritional complete than a clear liquid diet, but lacks in some nutrients. Second, liquid dietary supplements are added to a full liquid diet. Third, it can help ease inflammation in the GI tract diet. Question one. A clear liquid diet has been prescribed for a client with gastroenteritis. Which item is appropriate to offer a client? 1. Soft custard. 2. Orange juice. 3. Clam chowder. 4. Fat-free beef broth. Question 2. A post-operative client has been placed on a clear liquid diet. Which item is the client allowed to consume? Select all that apply. 1. Broth. 2. Coffee. 3. Gelatin. 4. Pudding. 5. Ice cream. 6. Vegetable juice. Question 3. A client who is recovering from gastric surgery has been advanced from a clear liquid diet to a full liquid diet. The client is looking forward to the diet change because he has been bored with the clear liquid diet. The nurse would most appropriately give which full liquid item to the client. 1. Gelatin. 2. Custard. 3. Tea. 4. Popsicle.